Hello everybody and welcome to this new video. <laughs> Today I'm... <sighs> Would you excuse me for a moment? <sighs> because of my current situation, I thought that this manifestation of myself would be a lot more fitting. As you may have noticed, I am ill. Don't worry, it's not the Rona, it's just that my body has decided that stormy weather is definitely not our jam and so it would be the right thing to just stop working. And of course, I feel guilty for not being able to work and... But wouldn't it be stupid for you to go to work if you're not feeling well? Oh, um, well... Thank you for your very rude interruption, my friend. To answer your question, yes, of course it would be stupid. Especially if you have something contagious, it wouldn't be a good idea to go into a hospital and work with the patients there. I know. But that doesn't make the feeling of guilt go away. Now, why should we feel guilty for not functioning? We aren't supposed to function, we are supposed to live. And it is common knowledge amongst us humans that we might get ill or have chronic illnesses, both of which we can hardly control most of the time. In my opinion, the way we view illness always has something to do with our upbringing. Think back, how did your parents handle illness? A few days ago, I watched a reel on Instagram where someone showed the different reaction of parents when the child is ill. These were the ones shown. In the first scenario, the child was obviously ill, puking, coughing, etc., but the parent didn't even recognize the illness, didn't react to the bad state the child was in, and only said that it was late for school. This leaves the child feeling helpless and also like no one cares about them. This child might be very hurt in the future if it gets the feeling that someone washes over their bad state of health. But it could also happen that they go on to be that person that comes to work while obviously ill and may infect others. The second scenario was also giving off the vibe of I don't care, child, but in a lot more direct way. The child called for the mom and said that they were ill. When the mom didn't respond, the child went on a search to find that the mom was in front of the TV, not reacting. A bit more upset, the child repeated for the fifth time that they were ill, at which the mom replied something along the lines of, well, what am I supposed to do about it? Go to school, stay in bed, I don't care. Now, is this better than the first way of handling it? No. The child also feels kind of neglected because the parent simply doesn't care about their well-being. The difference is that in this scenario the parent doesn't say you still have to go to school no matter what. They say stay or go, I don't care. So this child gets the picture that it isn't really all that important to still make the decision am I to, okay to go to school or won't I be able to do my job there. So it might stay at home in the future a lot more because it doesn't really have the pressure to go. The third and final scenario was about a kid that sneezed and the mom immediately ran to the child saying stuff like, Oh God, my baby, are you okay? Oh God. <laughs> and while this behavior is definitely a lot more caring, it can also leave the child with a lot of anxiety. If my mom is that scared just because I sneezed, I have to be too, right? And while I personally think that it makes sense to be cautious with your body, It'll also be hard for the child to handle their fear when they even catch something minor like a simple cold. Another example from my own experience is that the parent also leaves the decision if you want to stay at home or go to school or work to you, 
but also judges you for your decision and gets angry if you want them to decide. So, what happens with the child? They get scared of bringing it up. They don't want to get ill because they are scared everyone is going to think that they are faking, not really ill or not ill enough. They feel like a failure for not being able to function properly because they were always told that it was so negative to be ill. They were told to suck it up and now they feel guilty. Phew, okay, uh, this video was very um, critical, huh? <laughs> oh well, maybe it helped you in some way to find yourself in one of these roles or maybe you have a completely different experience with being ill and uh, the reaction of your parents to you being ill. Anyway, uh, I'd love to hear your opinions in the comments below. Maybe you think that you have the perfect way to handle these situations as a parent or even as a child. Or maybe you want to say that your parent always did this or that, um, whatever it is. I hope that you all know that it really makes no sense for you to go to work or school if you're not feeling well, especially in times like these. So, stay healthy. <laughs>